I'd like to welcome you all here this evening. It is a very good, great achievement for our club to be here tonight and recognised alongside all the other clubs here tonight. It is a fabulous competition organised to, to reward the most dynamic and active clubs in the country. I'd like to introduce you to my teammates here tonight, Elaine Doyle, Michael Brown, Brendan O'Callaghan and myself, Michelle O'Callaghan. Nokraha, for those of you who don't know, is 19.7 kilometres from Cork City, approximately. <laughs> we have our very own church, community hall, primary school, and a necessity for all villages, a local pub, a Donoghue's. Nokraha is a small village, but has a huge community spirit upon which our club is built. As you can see from our profile, we have 26 very active members, and last year we recruited 11 new members. We're just like the new person, small and mighty. Yeah. Last year, our club celebrated our 50th anniversary with various events throughout the year, including social nights and radio recordings. Our gala banquet was held on the 12th of October in the Vienna Woods Hotel Glamire. We had the privilege of having our founding chairperson, secretary, treasurer, and the national president, Ms. Catherine Buckley, in attendance. It was a most memorable night for all of us there, as both past and present joined together with our local community to celebrate our great achievements. On arrival, we had a vintage 1957 Massey Ferguson and 2007 Massey Ferguson to illustrate the gaps between the years. We also had a very memorable night in Fremont, where we had a recording with Jimmy Reedy on local radio station 103 FM. We packed a bus of past and present members and headed out there for the night, where we had a night of storytelling, reminiscing, and music. Our final event for our celebrations was a Remembrance Mass. This was a very special night for our club, as we remembered all our past members who are no longer with us today. And afterwards, we headed up to the community hall for some lovely tea and creamy buns. Our club is very socially active within our community and take part in our annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in our par parish. They also use the Know Your Neighbour initiative and our local family fun day, where we have various activities throughout the day, including sumo suits, tug of war, and we have our very own re resident mystic, Claire. You will also see a few animals around the place, just to be petted. We also took part in the Dublin and Cork City Mini Marathon, where we raise money for both Bulher and the Special Olympics, respectively. And during the summer months, we donated a thousand euros from our club funds to the local Cork for Kids Radio Town appeal. Another highlight for a year was organising a regional titles night. And on that night, our very own club member, Emily O'Connell, was crowned Queen of the Land. So we'll be packing our bags and heading to Tullamore in a few weeks' time again. Our recruitment nights were very, very successful as we kidnapped 11 new members along the way. We had various events, including pool <laughs> competitions, we went to see the dogs running around Curry Park and we had a few buses to Kinsale and Clonacilty. We also attended Limerick's annual mock revision and we attended a very glamorous Masbury Ball organised by Shandun Mockra. Last year, the Rally was a big social event for our club as we all packed into Kate's house for the weekend. John took part in the stock building while the ladies and gents sprayed the elements on Sunday morning in the Seven Side Football. Sports is a key area of our club, and you will see us regularly in our community hall every Wednesday night, or during the summer months out in our local GA pitch, if the weather improves, hopefully. We take part in all regional sports events, and you may often catch some of our members on the ice rink, trying to be the next Torval and Dean. Agriculture is another key area of our club. The lads will hog out in their high vis jackets, just in case we lose them, at the farm stills, or they'll be propped up against the gate, staring lovingly with the eyes of a gorgeous Aberdeen Angus heifer. <laughs> Every day you should do something that scares you, and camping definitely scares me. I recommend it as a club event, but for one night only. Christmas time is a great time in our club, as past members return home. We have various social nights, from a who's on Christmas Eve, to Reardon's in the Bailey inside in Cork City, where we will bring in the new year together as a group down in BK2 in Glamour. We're keen supporters of our Rebel Army. I know Kilkenny kind of Cats had their three in a row, but our court ladies, we did four in a row in the football. Yeah. She joined the 
Club back in 2005, and since joining, has developed in the club, become club hero, and this year is a regional hero. She also received an award for her scrapbook last year within the region. The next one is Michael Finn. He's a stalwart of our club, been there since 2001. He is one of our true Mothra members. And finally, this is another member, Mike Stegall. She has since moved to land down under and sends us her best wishes from Mel Jura and Melbourne. She keeps a regular update with us through our Beagle page. Unfortunately, the club ceased to exist during the 90s. But thanks to a few brave and unfriendly friends of ours, the club was reborn back in October 2001. From there, we built upon our friendships to design a club built around the framework provided by Mothra and use this to make the most of our experiences and time in Mothra. Our members are the foundation of our club and we utilize all Mothra's key areas and integrate them into our club program. Mothra and Mothra will build from our experiences here today and during the club leader process and utilize them to improve and develop our club. We believe our club, Nakra, is just like a block of Kerry Gold water. As we are unwrapped around the world and once uncovered, we are a piece of pure Irish gold.